Hi everyone, I'm Mike Dockery. What a hell of a night at March to Victory 7. I'm joined by the one. You the shut only. your mouth. Everybody knows me by now. I am your award winning, only wrestling reverend, future RWA commissioner, Church. How did, How are you going to say you're a future? You don't even know if it's. It'll gonna... happen. Just shut up and let's keep going. Okay, first of all, let's start things off with Joseph Allen Blackwell. No showing here tonight. That's right, no showing Jay Ice. Supposed to be for the Cruiserweight title. Unfortunately, Lucio DeVere was at the uh, butt end of a horrible beatdown by Jay Ice. And Jay Ice, next month, that's right, next month at the Cal U Convocation Center, gets Joseph Allen Blackwell. Non title, no disqualification. Absolutely feel bad actually making a smart decision, putting notice on Joseph Blackwell saying, listen, you screwed over our fans, you screwed over the river dirt once, you won't do it again. Next month, the Convocation Center at Cal U, Jay Ice, Joe Blackwell, one-on-one, -on -one, no title, but no DQ. But he didn't really call him river dirt, he called him the fans. So. I called him river dirt. Are you kidding me? Anyways, this guy wants to be commissioner. All right, back to the event at hand. Generation Dead, victorious, over-exclusive. And I'll tell you what, one hell of a matchup. We saw double moon salts. We saw mists. We saw blood mists, green mists. You name it, it happened in this matchup. Total chaos. But then again, Gen Generation Dead, victorious, and retaining the RWA tag titles. Generation Dead cheating their way to victory against Exclusive, using the mist, using chairs, using everything that they could at their disposal behind the referee's back in order to win uh, and continue with their title reign. I'll give them credit where credit is due. They did put up one hell of a fight against Exclusive, but at the end of the day, they still cheated to win. All right, are you done yet? Can you remove your lips from both Amherst and Reign's butt? And let's get on with this. Let's talk about the ongoing feud between Ryan Mitchell and Chris Taylor. Yes, folks, boot camp match. Next month, County Communication Center, salute to the troops. And I'll tell you what, both of them, that's right, Ryan Mitchell and uh, Chris Taylor making a statement in each other's matches tonight. And I Church, I don't think this is going to end at Cal U, but they are going to tear the roof off this building. Ryan Mitchell and Chris Taylor both putting on clinics in the ring against suitable competition tonight. Chris Taylor coming out, getting involved in Ryan Mitchell's match. Ryan Mitchell coming out and getting involved in Chris Taylor's match after the match was over. I can tell you this, I did see Chris in the back. He is suffering from a very massive headache, but he said that it was a wake-up call for next month for Ryan Mitchell at the Cal U Convocation Center for the Salute to Troops. I cannot wait to call that match because it is going to be one of the most epic battles I think RWA has ever seen in its five plus years of existence. Believe it or not, we actually agree on that together. But I'll tell you what folks, again, if you're a veteran, please bring your military ID at Cal U's uh, Convocation Center. And believe it or not, not only is it a homecoming for Ryan Mitchell, not only is it a tribute to all the armed forces and all the boys in blue, green, camouflage, whatever you want to say it, that have served our country, it's also a homecoming for me. I'm excited. It's my alma mater. I get to be in front. I, I, I get to come home. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. This is the biggest event ever RWA's had, and it's just going to be exciting. Salute the troops. Cal U Convocation Center. Mitchell versus Taylor boot camp match. We have one hell of a card lined up for you, so get your tickets early, folks. Again, signing off, the RWA Wrap-Up Show. I'm Michael Dougherty. Here's our shameless Twitter plug. I am your one and only award-winning wrestling reverend church, future RWA commissioner. Go to twitter.com slash ringrevchurch, and you will get all the details on what's going to happen April 19th at Cal U. All right, folks. See you next month at Cal U. We're out of here.